Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we created this bootstrap form for us. It's a very long form but we created it in minutes uh, using Emmet. Now in this section we are going to create a template, a, a reactive form inside the TypeScript class. So let's get started with it. Now this form is, uh, let me just name this um, user form and it's going to be of type form group which is something that I'll have to import from Angular forms like so. Apart from that, I'm also going to use some other um, classes like form control. I'm also going to use a form array and uh, I'll also use something called validators. So all these classes are something that I imported from Angular forms. And then inside the ng on init, I'm going to initialize this form to a new form group. Now this um, form group requires three things, two of the last two of which are optional. The first one is a controls object and this is an object that, that contains keys in the form of strings or just keys um, with some name and uh, a corresponding abstract control. Now an abstract control uh, is a parent or base class for classes like form group, form control and form array. So the key here inside the controls object, each key can either be assigned an instance of a form group, a form control or a form array. The second argument to this is going to be either a validator function or an array of validator functions, um, which would then apply to the whole form itself. And the third, third argument is going to be an asynchronous validator function or an asynchronous validator function array that will again be applied to the whole form itself. Right now, we'll just have a look at the controls object. So let's create an object here and uh, we will need a few fields in here. So let's start with the name field, which is going to be a new form control like so. And again, this form control has three arguments that can be supplied to it. The last two are optional. That is the validator or a validator function, a validator function or a validator functions array and an asynchronous validator function or an asynchronous validator functions array. The first argument though is also optional and it is the form state which essentially represents the initial value of this form control. So let me just uh, type in the initial value as an empty string. Now I'm just going to press shift alt and the downwards arrow key to just um, duplicate this line for a few times like so. And let's start with the second field, which is going to be a username, like so. It is again a form control. The third one would be an email. Fourth one would be a phone. Fifth one would be a website, like so. And the sixth one is going to be an address. But this time, instead of being something else, it is going to be uh, an instance of a new form group like so and again just like we did that for this one we would need to pass in an object like so and then this object is going to have some fields so fields would be like uh, street let me just copy about four of them cut them from here and paste it inside this address format this accordingly now street is going to be a form control and same would be the case with uh, suite, city and zip code. And then inside this we'll also have a geo object which is again a new form group. So we'll pass an object to it like so. And this will have two fields like uh, a latitude and a longitude. So I'll name this lat and lng like so. And then finally, we'll have one for a company, which is again going to be a new form group. This form group will again contain the three objects that we have here. The first one is going to be a name. 
the second one is going to be a catch phrase and the third one is going to be just bs like so all right so now we have a basic user form ready with us and let's save this uh, now the one thing that is required here is to just bind this user form to the template of this form that we have here to bind that we will use something called an ng form which is going to be a directive and we will be using the directive as an attribute binding sorry as a property binding and in here we will specify the name of this form that is user form like so so now uh, what this will do is let's say if i type in the name like uh, john doe here and save this inside my um, template um, i'm getting an error right now which means there's something wrong it says that cannot bind to ng form since it isn't a known property of the form so i'm pretty sure why i'm getting this error and that is because um, for reactive forms we need to use the reactive forms module that I have here but I oh I have also added it to the import array so looks like that is not the issue uh, ng form okay let's go to the template again and see what exactly we have done here so we have an ng form okay i guess i have uh, uh, used the wrong directive this is the directive that we use inside a template driven forms for reactive forms instead of using ng form um, we use the directive named form group so let's save this and uh, let's go back to the application all right so now we see the form getting loaded and the initial value that i set inside the TypeScript class is also getting applied to this form here. Now let's quickly uh, set some default values for all of, for all of these fields so that we are pretty sure. So I'll specify the phone as this, the website as uh, john.com address is going to be 123 any street suite is going to be suite 1400 city is going to be bellevue and zip code is going to be 98004 uh let me type in a random geo here the company name is going to be um let me name this beautiful destinations the catchphrase is going to be um see world differently and uh, let's specify the bs as a company that creates beautiful content for travel ports and hotel chains let's save this and go back so i should ideally expect all of these fields to get uh, populated but i just see these above four fields getting populated and rest of them are still not populated and i know the reason why uh, that is because we need to specify a particular uh, attribute again and this attribute is going to be the form group name which in this case is going to be address and for this one form group name this for this one it's going to be geo and lastly for the company it's going to be company like so so now if i save this and go back i should see all these fields getting populated with the respective uh, form values 
so this was uh, this was it regarding creating a reactor form inside the typescript class and binding it to the template of this form now in the next section we are going to talk about handling uh, validation errors i'll see you guys in the next video